We built a remote controlled forklift that's controlled by a Bluetooth app that we created for an Android phone. It has simple capabilities, left, right, forward, backwards, up, down. We have limit switches <laughs> at the top and bottom that um, prevent it from raising too high or too low to help protect your stepper motor. <laughs> we also incorporated uh, safety features. So if you were to um, lift something that would start tipping it too far, it's a little extreme right now, but if you could get it to tip all the way to there, it senses that and it lowers the forks until either it's no longer tipped to the extreme point or it hits the bottom limit switch. So we have three primary circuits going on. We have a circuit with an Arduino that's running all the Bluetooth code, and that sends and receives information from the app. And the app also has a sensor on it that'll display whether or not it's tilted or if it's flat, so the user has a way of telling, other than the beeping noise. This here is our Bluetooth module, <laughs> and the, that controls everything I just said. And then we have our accelerometer circuit that um, detects what angle it's at. And that signal both talks to this circuit over here, which controls all the stepper motor controls, and it sends information to this Bluetooth information telling everything that it's tipped. It also <coughs> sends a signal to our buzzer there that's amplified by a transistor so that you can actually hear it. And then our stepper motor controller uses a pick that takes information from the limit switches and the tipping sensor and deals with all of that logic. And our Bluetooth module sends uh, data to our double H bridge for our drive DC motors that controls all the logic for that. And our stepper motor, transistor, and DC motors all run off of the 12 volt battery while all our logic stuff runs off of the 9-volt batteries through the Arduinos. <laughs>